Hi, my name is Norma and I'm recording from Johannesburg, South Africa. And this is my fourth uh, podcast episode. The last one was recorded probably over a month ago. I haven't really been doing much recording in the past uh, couple of weeks because of some commissioned work that I've been doing. So I had quite a number of projects that I had deadlines for that I had to finish this month. Fortunately, they are done and they are all gone, but I still have a couple more that I do in October. So I'm working very hard on those. So my own designing has kind of taken a back seat because I'm focusing on these other projects. But I'm looking forward to getting back to them because I'm, I'm right on track. I'm probably maybe a few weeks ahead of schedule, but because of our shipping issues here and the fact that I have to send them to a different continent. I try by all means to make sure that I'm done very fast just in case we have more stricter lockdown rules because last year I think when we were on level five we couldn't even ship stuff out so I'm always concerned that if um, we get more stricter uh, lockdown regulations I might not be able to ship stuff out so I try to work as fast as I can send it out even if there's still a month or more left for the deadline just to be on the safe side. So that's what I've been trying to do with most of these projects. So I've now got two sweaters and a show that I have to do. So that's a lot of work which I'll be focusing on for the next couple of weeks. And I'm hoping I'll be able to sneak in my own stuff here and there because I'm so excited about the projects that I'm working on at the moment. I'll be sharing some of the works in progress and some of the yarn that I've acquired. I've been tempted so much to just share them on Instagram, but I thought, well, let me just share the uh, stuff here first before I share them elsewhere. So before we start, um, today is a sun, I'm recording on a Sunday and it's around 11 a.m. and my kids are in the next room, so you'll probably hear my youngest daughter crying. She's almost 18 months old and my older daughter is turning eight this coming Friday. So they are playing and they are making noise. I told them to be quiet just a few minutes before I sat here. But, you know, kids, they will probably be talking and you know, they'll probably be crying here and there. But I'm just hoping that won't really disrupt us here. So um, let me see what I can start with. Okay, um, I'll start with my future projects that I'm planning for this uh, fall and winter collection. Initially, I had spoken about um, uh, my wish to design coats and cozy cabled sweaters and cardigans. I think that was on my first episode. But because I was a little bit late and I was also late with my summer designs, so I realized that I don't have enough time to do long coats now. If I had to publish them in time for you to knit them and wear them during the, the winter months i'm already too late because if i haven't started already that means it will take about three months f for me to get it I, I think about two months to knit and two more months to do the testing so by the time i'm done that'll be december so i realized that the best thing is to put that collection on hold for for a while and i'll probably do that next year because i think it's easier for me to start my summer designing in January, right at the beginning of the year, I start working on the spring and summer designs. And by the time we get to the end of April, beginning of May, I start on the winter and the fall projects. That way uh, I, I get to publish on time and everybody gets to need the projects before they actually need to use them. So I realized that um, it will really help much if I start on this long coats and cardigans because they're going to take time i mean cabling takes a bit of some time compared to just straight knitting and i won't be able to get these projects out on time so i decided to do a color work collection instead so right from socks cowls scarves i think I've, i'll have one or two scarves i haven't done them in a very long time and some um beanies and oh, i did mention socks and of course some sweaters so i'll be doing a couple of color work uh, projects and i'm so excited about those ones and uh, the reason why i went for them is because they take much less time than cabling and doing longer garments 
So I'm so excited about those projects and that's what I'm going to be working on soon. So um, I'll just show you a couple of works in progress and some yarn that I've already acquired in the past few weeks. So first off, I have this top. It's a pullover. So it's a circular yoke design. And I've mentioned it before that I wanted to do a stock in a yoke and a lace body. So it's going to have this it's the stitch at the bottom. I think it's called the arrowhead lace. Uh, let me hold it like this. So that's the uh, design right to the bottom. And I'll just have a little bit of some ribbing and some tubular bind off like I did at the top here. And um, the sleeves are going to be the same stitch and they're going to be knit straight. And I'll just do the cuff. Uh, I'll just decrease the stitches right before the cuff. and. So I don't make the sleeves too large, but they're just going to be, you know, straight instead of tapered like what I normally do with my sleeves on sweaters. So I'm excited about this, but um, I'll most probably be putting this project on hold because it's a summer design with, uh, you know, with see-through see sleeves. So I, I was just thinking that it's not something that I can... Um, continue with now if, if I want to focus on this uh, fall and winter collection because since I'm not even done with this it could probably be finished sometime in end of September and then I'll have to put it out for testing October November and by the time I'm done and ready to publish this pattern it could be December so I just decided to put it on hold I'll probably finish it up uh, beginning of the year next year and it will be available um, late March or April next year and then the next project that I have today I've got a couple of colorful things is this little sock I just started it okay I didn't start it yesterday yesterday I was trying to do something else with it so I started this about two weeks back and then I was working on this lace stitch that just wasn't working out so I couldn't even tell how the pattern looked like it didn't look so good so I put it on hold and I picked it up last night and the new, I, I had the lace panel and some little cables on the side, but somehow the lace wasn't showing up really well. So I've decided to maybe do a panel of cables instead. And I'm, I'm still deciding because I really wanted to do some lace with this color instead of cables. I'll rather do cables on a darker yarn or somehow I, I don't know why i prefer it that way but i just wanted to do some less pattern here so i'll see what i can do with this pattern I, i'm still deciding because i really wanted to have at least one solid color project to one small solid color project because sometimes when i'm busy with my daughter and trying to get her to sleep i need to work on something that won't be getting tangled up easily so i was hoping to work on this sock but uh, i'm still stuck so i'll see if i can come up with a more interesting design that i will actually enjoy and then the next one is this color work uh, pullover i shared a photo of it um sometime during the week so here it is let me just open it up okay so i haven't had made much progress since i last shared it so it's got these motifs. Okay, this needle is a bit too small. It's quite comfortable to knit with it because I, I was I tried to knit on a much longer needle, but it wasn't as comfortable as the sweater one. So I put the stitches back here, but now I'm realizing it's very difficult to show off the stitch. So that's what I've done so far. The contrast is very circle, it's not very bold and I'm really loving it because this pullover is going to have this dotted uh, color work, this dotted color work pattern all throughout the body. So I didn't want to make it too bright. I, somehow I felt it would be too much. So I went for a more circle look instead of the bright and bold colors and I'm really loving it. So that's how it looks and i did the neck 
um, what do you call it by the way? Um, I rest the back neck with some short rows here. So the yarns I'm using for this one are Yama, Merino Lis Linen Worsted, and the colors are Brushed Copper, this is Brushed Copper, and Faded Khaki. So they're really gorgeous colors by Medlin of Yama Fiber Arts. And it's very, some nice worsted yarn, and it's working up very fast. So I'm working on 3.75 millimeter needles, and I think that's size 5 that's us size five so this is my project that i'm excited about and then my last work in progress is it looks kind of weird because of the ripping so it will look super skinny but it's a 46 inch bust okay so that's the top so the yoke is it's regular in shape and it's a two by three ripping two knit stitches and three pearl and the shaping is done even here on the sleeves and the body at the bottom is some cable pattern so um i i thought the length was now okay i didn't try this on and i went and did the bottom ripping only to discover that i wasn't really happy with the length so i'll do two more repeats of the pattern I'll have to frog this part and do two more repeats and then um, I'll do the ripping at the bottom. I think it will be long enough. So that's the shaping. So it's going to, it, it fits properly when I wear it, but it just looks so small here. So that's the pattern. And um, this panel start off with a few stitches here and they are increased at the bottom to give the top an A line shape so it's flared and i'm really liking this look so the yarn that i used for this is sand castles by miss lamotians let me hold it up properly so it's got these beautiful speckles of some rust and some pink as you can see there so i'm i'm really loving this color this project it's a dk weight yarn and i'm working on the I did the bodice on four millimeter needles and then I'm doing the cable section on 4.5. So it's really working up pretty fast. So that's all that I have on my works in progress. And now a couple of my finished projects. So these are already out, two of these are already out and were published whilst I was not recording. So I'll just share them with you. Okay, my socks are a bit dirty on the heels, so please don't mind that I was wearing them yesterday. So it's the pink rose socks. So they've got a folded cuff at the top and then there's some ripping underneath. So it's very comfortable and stretchy, but it stays up and doesn't fall off. So that's the sock called the pink rose socks so they are ankle socks and they are very comfortable and at the top i don't know whether you can see that but it's this dotted stitch just to keep the knitting interesting i just wanted something that will be engaging instead of just plain stocking it so that's the pattern that's the sock pattern so it's been out for a, a couple of weeks now and then there is the lutando vest Okay, it's a white naked vest and it's got ripping panels on the sides for some comfortable fitting. So what I did with the ripping right from the top when I was doing the back, the on the armholes, this is knit together at the same time with the when you're knitting the body. So there's no picking up of stitches. So it's a one by one ripping uh, band. So it goes all the way down and when I add stitches for the underarm, they also become the one by one ripping pattern and down at the bottom, I split the two and 
continue to do the one by one ripping. So it starts right from the top all the way down and it's a very comfortable fit and it saves a lot of time because once you're done with the knitting of the uh, vest itself, you only have to pick up stitches for the neck and that's it. So it's um, called Lutando vest. So it's knit with um, nurturing fibers and the color is cobblestones. It's an eco cotton, it's, it's eco cotton DK. And as you can see, it's a double moss stitch pattern. And one thing that I noticed with this pattern is that um, the more stif stitch definition you have with your yarn, the better. Because um, this type of stitch tends to get blurry, so you need as much stitch definition just to make it look good. So that's the pattern over there. So this is out as well. And then my next finished object is the Namisa um, top. It's a sleeveless top, knit from the top down as well. So the top part is made with um, one by one ribbing and all well, the neck stitches as well and the, the armholes also have one by one ribbing. So what I did with this one was when you get to a certain point just above the bust, you double up all the stitches and then do the increase for the back and for the front and then work all the way down in stockinette stitch. So with this top, the most important measurement to take is the cross back fit because the most important part is to fit the shoulders because the stitches increase right here just above the bust so it's very loose and flowy and you'll see when it's being modeled i'm going to have a photo shoot this week so um it's a very loose and comfortable fitting top okay let me hold it up and on this one i used eco cotton again by nurturing fibers and the color is London. So it's a beautiful speckled gray with pink and some turquoise and some light purple. So it's a very gorgeous color. And um, that's the second, that's the next project that I'm going to be putting out probably in a week or so. I think maybe on the 30th or 31st of August, this will be out. And then, so that's it on my finished projects and my projects that are still in progress and then now I'll be showing you my acquisitions so I recently received a package of yarn from Miss Lamotte Yarns and let me just hold this up nicely okay so I'll be doing some color work projects with this so the first one is this so it's some shades of purple I don't know whether the f this camera shows this properly but um, it's some purples there's the dark purple and the light purple and the colors are belladonna this is belladonna the darker purple and the light one is the botanist so these are really gorgeous colors and I'm going to be doing some color work design. I'm still working on the motif because it's not going to be a, a heavily involved motif because I just want to show off the yarns. So initially I wanted to do some lace um, pull over with these two. But I dis when, when I received the yarns, I figured, okay, let me, since I'm doing a color work, uh, collection, let me just do that. So I'm still working on some ideas. I'll probably be winding this up and doing some swatches to see what works and what doesn't. But I'm really excited about those colors. And then the next um, color work sweater that I'll be working on is, is a bright one. I wanted some bright um, color work pull over and this is going to have five colors for five and I'm so excited about this one okay let me hold all the yarns up then I'll talk about them separately 
okay so those are the colors so it's a very bright pull over i just wanted some really happy colors to just pop into the collection so i'll be using a lot of browns and some grays here and there but i just wanted some really bright and colorful so i opted to go for these colors so the main color is going to be the coral so this is a coral pink color it's so gorgeous like really really beautiful and then um there's the chestnut and then there's this light pink it's, it's called pale pink it's very very pale and then i'll be using linen and some vanilla so um with this collection with this sorry not this collection with this pullover it's not necessarily a matter of getting all these gains to do this project but you can also work on it with some leftovers if they blend very well i, I think that's the good thing about um color work whether it's sweaters or cowls or anything at least you just get to pull some yarns from your stash and work on it from there so this is what i had in mind for this one i'm so excited about those colors i wanted to share a photo of them as soon as i got the yarn but i decided to wait until i do this uh recording then i'll start sharing those colors but i'm really really excited about this and then um some of the yarns that i got were some extras of linen and um vanilla just in case i need to fill in with some neutral colors here and there so that's what i got and then there is okay i, I also bought a new notebook for my patterns so usually when i'm starting a new collection i use a new notebook even if the other one isn't used up so that i can have all the particular details for that collection in the same place so i got this notebook got some gold motifs on it and it's really beautiful and i like the spiral binding binding because i can just fold and get to where i want to go so it's just got lines like this so i got this just in case you're in south africa and you're interested i got this from mr price home and it's going for 59 rands 99 cents so that's um, I don't know how much that is in dollars, but that could be about three dollars and some cents. But, but that's some gorgeous notebook that I, I, I really like. So that that's where I get most of my notebooks. So I've got this one where I have my YouTube notes. So I got this one for thirty nine rents ninety nine cents. I think that's two dollars if you are using US dollars so um i'm also enjoying it like i said i normally do this i normally buy notebooks with this by with this type of binding instead of the regular one because when i'm sitting there knitting or checking my notes i can just fold to this page that i'm on and this it can lie flat so that's what i like about those types of notebooks so i got that new one particularly for this collection and that's where I'm going to be writing. So I've got a bigger one that's exactly like this little one that I'm carrying, which I was using for my summer collection. It's not used up. So I'll be using it for all the other random designs and get it used up. But um, for this specific collection, I'll be using this new notebook. And I'll probably be getting another one soon because I want to start working on a two-year project of... Um, some home decor designs it's going to take a while but i i think i spoke about it again on my first episode and it's something that i want to work on and i'd love to just get that going and start you know with each project project bit by bit and get them photographed as i go so that i can at least use them whilst i'm waiting for the rest of them to be finished and then um i'm also going to be casting on a pair of socks so I was thinking of these two colors. This is driftwood. It's a sort of like grayish brown. 
and this is charcoal and it's a very dark gray that almost looks black so i'd like to do a pair of socks with some all over color work so i've been working on the chart and tweaking it here and there i'll probably be casting this on and i might have to just frog the green socks because i'm still trying to figure out what to do with them and i still can't so i might be working on those socks because at the moment i don't have a sock project and then um i've oh the yarn that i'm using here is nurturing fibers twist sock and the colors are driftwood and charcoal and then for this gorgeous yummy yarn it's the yarn collective and this is hudson worsted and the color is smoke so i'll be using this for some cozy cabled slippers so that's what i'll be working on with this yarn so it's the yarn collective so I, i'm going to be casting this on very soon and i think i'll be using from the swatch that i did i think i'll be working with 4.5 millimeters and it's just going to be some cozy slippers and then i've got two shawls that i need to work on and those are one skein shawls so i've got the ideas worked out but um I, i'll see how i can fit them in because at the moment i don't have any show um work in progress i've just got sweaters and sweaters and more sweaters and some socks here and there so i would really love to work on some color work um okay sorry about that noise i don't know if that's some ambulance or some fire truck that's driving past okay it's gone so what i was saying is i've got some idea to work on a one skin show so i've picked the c and it's called the color is boardwalk it's also miss lamotians and um this is i think some twist sock yeah it's twist sock so i'll be using this um for a, for the one skin show and it's going to have some cabling somewhere i'll see how i'm going to work this out and then i'll also work on another one that'll probably have some less stitches and the color is the sales this is some um, uh, a 90 percent superwash merino and 10 percent linen so the base is called linum and it's a very gorgeous yellow color with some uh, orange speckles and some dark blue so it's a very gorgeous yarn color i've had this for i think for over two years now so i'm so excited to finally put it to use so i'll be doing a wine a one skein show it's going to have some lace here and there and i'll see what other stitch i can use to make it very exciting so that's the other project that i'll probably be casting on so the last thing that i want to talk about is a new venture that i started with my sister leslie so let me just grab this bag so we've been selling our bags online and offline and thank you so much for the support some colors have been sold out and we still have some that are still available um on our etsy shop so we're still working on getting our own website because it's much easier for us to work from there it will be easier for us to have more control over how we run the business so um the bags that we have are called the eva bags they are large tots for sweaters well because i think i need sweaters mostly so i wanted to start off with something that i would really get to test out and put to good use so these are the bags for those that haven't seen them let me hold it up like this so they can sit properly the base is flat so you can hold it like this so they are folded right now to save space but um when you're using it you can set it down and it can sit properly without falling over and they are really large you can i think fit in a sweater and more so it's got this type of drawstring so this is linen that we used up here and we used some cotton drawstrings and the hangles are also made from cotton so i've also had some questions with regards to the um logo here at the bottom so with this we used cork leather 
so it's not really leather product for those that prefer more vegan products so what we used here is cork leather for this uh, for our business logo and it's made from the cork oak tree i think so it's not uh, made from any animal products so that's the logo at the bottom so i'm i'm doing this venture with my sister leslie it's called 4071 bags and it's named and the name 4071 is actually the our home address where we grew up so we decided to take it back to our home because that's where we started our big dreams and big ideas about doing stuff together so that's how we got to name our business uh 4071 bags and then so we've got different colors the green one has got some geometric circles and we've got some other bright vibrant colors as well and some florals and then we've got some light and neutral colors for those that prefer light and neutral colors so i'll put the link below to the online shop so for now we only have these large tots but we are currently working on some ideas for different uh, sizes, sock for small sock bags and for some medium sizes for shawls and other medium sized projects. So we have a lot that we're working on and trying out. So we'll be sharing them as soon as they are all ready. So that's it on the bags. So we have an Instagram page for the bags. I'll also put the link below so that you can check them out and check our posts online to view all the other colors. We've got orange, yellow, and all sorts of colors you can think of. So you can check them out there. And I'll also include the link for our newsletter at the bottom. So please subscribe to that newsletter because that's where I get to share a lot of stuff that's happening and stuff that's coming up. I've noticed that on Instagram sometimes you don't necessarily get to see the posts because of the algorithms but um if you are in on the newsletter it's very easy to get to see everything that comes through to your mailbox so please um just subscribe to the newsletter below i'll add the link and also subscribe to this channel because now as soon as i'm done with this video i'm going to be shooting three or four videos on different knitting tips that will come in very handy to your knitting journey and i'll also be doing some tutorials very soon that will go with the patterns that i'm working on thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful week happy knitting